Hey guys, welcome back to Blush Blossoms. I thought I would do a little fireside chat and show you guys my Geo Seeds order. It just came in today, and this is like my last order of the season, so I'm really excited to be done ordering for a minute. I feel like I've just been like constantly like getting all the things that I need for this coming season. I thought I would go through my last order. So, um, Geo Seeds is a company that I, this is my first time ever ordering from them, but um, a lot of other fl like flower farmers um, that I have like come in contact with order from them and have a lot of great success. So they are more of a wholesale company uh, and they have really good pricing compared to a lot of places that I've ordered seeds in the past. And like they're not sold out of everything, which is so awesome. Now they don't have a catalog or they don't have like an online website ordering system. So you have to like call in or email them your order. Um, and they also don't have like pictures of like all the varieties so you kind of just have to like go through their catalog and just like look up varieties um and see if it's like you know one that you want to grow so that's what i did their catalog is super long they have literally everything which is the best because it seems like if i look somewhere else and they don't have it geo seeds definitely has it so i just write it on my geo seeds order list so um they were out of a couple of things but they are expected, they're like ones that are, um, it's like, I think it's part of a fall crop. Yeah, so they haven't actually received the seeds yet. So there's like four items on here that I'm not even going to plant until fall. And so those didn't come in this order, but they'll come, you know, in the next little while with plenty of time for me to get them planted. So, but everything else came. So let's go ahead and start here. Um, I noticed some of them were kind of out of order. And I feel like they gave me more of some things. Like the Ami Magus, they gave me two packets of those. And I don't feel like I ordered two packets of anything, but maybe I did. I don't, I don't think I did. Anyway, there's two packets of the Ami Magus. And this is a new one to me. I've never grown this before. And they all go by like the scientific name first. So um, I will put, I'm gonna just read it based off this because some of these I can't quite remember exactly what they are. Um, this I'm pretty sure is like a white, just a little like white filler flower. So, and I'll put a picture up on the screen what it looks like. Um, so that is fun, Ami Magus. Um, and then these are Snapdragons. So I have the Opius Mix and then also the red Delilah mix. So, and they don't say Snapdragons on them, which <laughs> is kind of crazy. Cause like, I feel like everywhere else I've ordered it says like Snapdragons on it, but hey, that's what you get when you pay a little bit less, which I'm totally fine with paying a little bit less and not having a picture on here or like the actual name. Um, so Snapdragons, um, I wanted to try a different variety because I'm like learning that they all kind of bloom a little bit different. So I've heard this one blooms pretty early, so we'll see what happens. Um, and then I ordered the Early Ostrich Plume Finest Mix, and this is an aster. Last year, I completely fell in love with asters, and I didn't even grow, like, I grew just like a random mix that I got off Amazon. I didn't even grow, like, like really good varieties. And so I'm really excited to, I just, I couldn't believe, uh oh I just heard Charlie start crying. She got knocked over by Bella. We love our puppy, but she's just bigger than our baby. So sometimes she gets knocked over. That's okay. And my husband is scraping concrete off the house because we got concrete poured the other day and it got splashed up on the side. So if you hear like, that's what that sound is. Um, but I want to get through this before things get going too crazy. And then I have another aster, it's called Raihu. Raihu. Um, I'll put up on the screen like what it looks like, but I'm so excited about asters because I fell in love with them last year. Okay, and then the next I have calendula and I got quite a few calendula. So I grew quite, I grew one variety of calendula. No, I grew two varieties of calendula. I grew pink surprise and orange button last year and completely fell in love with them. And I just love how quickly they bloom. They're like a 60 day bloomer. And um, they, then I discovered the book Cool Flowers and calendulas are a cool flower. So I can plant them even earlier, which is amazing. So they take 60 days to bloom-ish, um, depending on the variety. And 
you can plan on like super super early so i i kind of went to town this year and got a whole bunch of different ones so i have ivory princess pink surprise and then the green heart orange and i also um i'm doing the orange button again but i i got those seeds from johnny's so i'm trying to see if there's any more calendulas here i don't think so oh yes there is one more it's called sherbert fizz calendula seeds are really cheap too like this one they last a really good time at least for me they seem to last a good solid week in the vase and um there's just they just smell like the smell of them is so good and they do make your hands really sticky when you cut them so you want to make sure to like wear gloves when you cut them because they they kind of have like a little bit of a sticky texture but the smell is something that i had never smelled before when i um first grew them and just amazing so i'm excited about those and then the next one we have some bachelor buttons so they sent me two packets of these too i don't know if they just have like a ton of extra which doesn't make sense and there's i think one million in each one it says one million i think it's a million per ounce is what it is anyway oh these are cool because these say on them where they're from so these are from France, apparently. It says origin, oh, origin France. So that's not actually where these seeds are from. Um, but that's kind of cool how it says on here, like the origin, like some of these are from Germany, Holland, Italy. That's kind of a cool thing that you don't, Japan. Okay, so I have the blue boy variety of the bachelor buttons. So those I'm gonna, um, I'm probably gonna be direct seeding these here in like a week or two. The next I have Cardoon Porto Spineless. So this is something that another flower friend in the valley um, introduced me to and she like, it's just beautiful. It's kind of like, um, kind of reminds me of like a thistle, like a purple thistle, um, the flowers on it, or like an artichoke. Like it's, I think it's like in the same family as artichoke. Um, and she actually brought me a little Cardoon um, transplant this fall but Charlie, I like planted it and it was during the time that we were pulling all the plants out of the ground and Charlie like went and grabbed it and by the time I got it back in the ground, I don't think it made it. Made it. So it failed, but I'm gonna plant some seeds this year. This is should be a perennial. So if I ordered the right variety, it might, it might be something that I grow annually. I'll have to do a little bit more research on it, but I'm really excited about this because it just produces like this really pretty cool, spiky looking um, flowers. And I've actually also read that people use them just for the foliage. So it might be a good one. Um, okay, so the next one is called, so this is Queen Anne's Lace. And this is the Dara Dark Red Shades, Queen Anne's Lace. Queen Anne's Lace. Um, so that's gonna be a good one. And then Dianthus. I think I got a couple different Dianthus. Yes, I did. Let's see. Oh, another calendula. This one's called Fruit Burst. So I have, I'm gonna have six calendulas in total. And I'm gonna plant, I'm gonna go like crazy with the calendula because they grow super fast. They're really easy to harvest. And I mean, you can sell just bunches of them for pretty inexpensive because they're fast, easy to harvest. Like you can just go to town. And I feel like that's something that I can really fill my like flower stand with and just have like $5 bouquets or $10 bouquets um, and have like a little bit more inexpensive bouquet that people can just swing by and grab every week or something like that. Um, or it's like one that they can take to both their grandparents or they can take to, you know, a couple friends or I feel like that's a good flower that's just so gorgeous that you can, you know, it's like picking up some daisies from the grocery store or something like that. So that's kind of like my plan with the calendulas is to have just kind of a mix of calendula um, that I can just like throw into a little bouquet and sell for, you know, just a simple, easy price. Um, okay, so I have Dianthus here. So I have two different kinds. Um, one of them is called the Bodette Stole, Stole, Stoltz Nix and Bodestolz mix. And one of them is the sweet mix. So I'm excited about these. I haven't ever grown these before, so it'll be interesting to see how they do. Um, 
a lot of this is this is a cool flower so i'm going to be trying to do a little spring planting but mainly i'm going to plan on planting these in the fall because i'm pretty sure these work in my zone i'll have to double check that um i'm also zone 6b slash 7a we're like right on the border so i kind of treat it as 6b because we do get some of those colder things but for stuff that i'm like gonna overwinter I go up to 7a because I can just throw a frost cloth on it and it'll it'll be fine um, The next one is called Godetia. I think I'm saying that right Charlie's over here eating a snack. You doing okay? You loving your little pretzels She's warming up because she was freezing when she came in from being outside Okay, so Godetia and it's the grace mix. This is one that um, it says the origin is from Japan um, this is one that when I saw it, I was just like, I have to grow that. It's so, so beautiful. They're so light and just kind of fluffy and I'm, I'm excited to see how this turns out. Then I have Monarda Lombata. Um, and I don't really remember what that one looks like. I think this one's bee balm, actually. Yeah, I think this one's like bee balm. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? And then the next one is Nigella. And this is the Albion mix. Okay, then I got a couple of different varieties of, oh, don't touch the camera. <laughs> a couple different varieties of poppies. One of them's called Falling in Love and one of them's called Supreme. Now I did save a bunch of poppy seeds last year um, and they're like the peony poppy or bread seed poppy on um, the really big fluffy ones, but I'm really just gonna be growing those for the pods. So my plan this spring is to just plant a huge section of um, poppies and just let them go all the seed and then cut all of them and I'll use some of them in the spring. Oh, why thank you. Why thank you. Um, I'll use some of them in the spring for bouquets and like throughout the summer because that that was one thing I didn't have last year until like I don't know August, September and once I had them I used I used literally every single poppy seed head. They were just added such an amazing texture to bouquets. So I'm, I wanna be able to have those as long as I possibly can. So, um, but then these two, I may just grow these two for the, oh, those are super muddy. You should go put those back by the door. Thank you for super muddy shoes. Um, so these, I'm not sure if I'll actually grow and sell the flowers of these. I'll probably just grow them for the seed pods. I am gonna be doing you picks. So I like to have like some, just something else to add to the spring you pick. So I thought those would be kind of fun. Okay, we gotta get through these because Charlie's not gonna last very much longer. She's being really good. Okay, a couple more Rudbeckias. I have Goldilocks and Prairie Sun. And then Scabiosa. I am I have already have started some Black Knight and then I I ordered Snow Maiden. So I wanted to have like some some contrast. So the Black Knight is like a really, really deep dark color. And then the Snow Maiden is just pure white, so. And then two more amaranthus. I'm growing pretty much all the amaranthus this year. Um, wait, no, this one's not amaranthus. This one is the Shantley Mix Snapdragon. So I'll have to put that with the Snapdragons. This is an amaranthus and it's called Burgundy Glow. So that's all I got for you guys. Um, that's my, my the last of my seeds ordered. Um, hope you guys like this video. If you wanna stay tuned, whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you think you're doing? Are you gonna be my cameraman? She like doesn't want her to be in the in the clip, but she wants to touch the camera. Do you wanna come sit with me? No? Okay. <laughs> Hope you guys like this video. Make sure to subscribe if you want to stay up to date. And you can follow oh thank you for the pretzels. You guys can follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I post quite a bit of stuff there. Um, not quite so much this time of year just because it's really slow. There's not very many pictures. There's not very many beautiful pictures to take. Um, it's pretty dreary out there. So, um, oh, why thank you. Anyway, so you can follow me on those two places and we'll see you guys next time. Say bye bye Can you push the button? Okay, good.